Hi everyone, my name is Meg and I am bringing you a short sequence to get you moving right at your desk and it's brought to you by Navini Yoga. So I'm gonna get you to first take a second and look down at your feet. So scooch forward enough on the chair that you can have your feet flat and that you're not leaning up against the edge of it. So take your hands to your knees and then what I want you to do is spread your toes really wide, heel anchoring in behind that middle toe and then lift up really nice and tall. As you feel your feet press down, I want you to feel your chest rise up and keep this lengthened position in your spine. So we're going to reach that left arm out to the side. And as you reach your left arm out, I want you to keep your shoulder down your back. And then all I want you to do is just bring that left thumb down towards the floor. And then you're just going to slowly reach it up. So we're just getting a little bit of mobility into your shoulder. And I don't want anything else moving. So again, keep your shoulder down away from your ear. And then on the next one, what I'm going to get you to do is keep that little internal rotation. You're going to bend into your elbow and bring your left fingertips towards your right hip. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna rotate that left shoulder down your back. And then from here, you're gonna let your right ear fall over towards the right shoulder. Now you can get a little bit pickier here and try dropping the chin, raising it up. Even though I'm offering you suggestions on how to move, you know your body best. So once you find that sweet spot into the left side, breathe into that stretch, and then you can take it one step deeper. By taking your right hand, you're gonna just bring it just above your left ear. Now. Do not pull your head. Instead, press your head into your hands. And if you can feel comfortable here, close down your eyes and feel that really nice long space through the left side of your body as you breathe in deeply here. Feel that space expand with the inhale and then just feel a little bit of tension dissolve as you exhale. Take one more big breath. And then slowly release both the hands down by your side. We'll roll that out just a little bit. And then just notice as you kind of feel the difference between the left and the right. And then we'll release and switch sides. So now from here, we'll inhale right arm now reaches out. So you're going to flip that thumb down and as far back as you can. And then slowly bring that thumb and flip up. So again, we're just doing this and you want to do it really nice and slow. Again, really isolating that movement. So we're just creating a little bit of mobility into that shoulder. Now in your next one, you're gonna take that right thumb, point it down and as far back as you can. And with that internal rotation, you bend your elbow and bring that hand towards your left hip. Now lift up really nice and tall, press into your feet to do it, and then draw your left ear down towards your left shoulder. So again, you explore this a little bit. Try dropping your chin, maybe raising it up. Find that sweet spot where you can feel that tension through the right side of your body, but it's breathable. And then if you can breathe calmly here. You could reach your left fingertips up, bend that elbow, and then bring that hand just above the ears, ear. And then from here, you're gonna push that head into your hand. So again, it's not a pull. You could hurt your neck if you're actually trying to force that movement. It's about creating a little bit of resistance here. And if you feel comfortable, close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, you'll heighten the sensation of how that feels through the right side of your body. And then you can actually feel that expandable breath as you breathe in. And just dissolve a little bit of that tension as you breathe out. Two more big breaths. And one more here. Now on your next inhale, we're gonna slowly release. And then once again, I invite you to just roll those shoulders out a little bit. Notice and ideally feel a little bit more balance in between. Now, once again, feel your feet. We tend to let go of that foundation very quickly. Arms reach up to the sky. So now your left hand is gonna grab your right wrist. You're gonna pull on that right hand or right wrist so that your shoulders slide down your back. We're gonna inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, hinge over to the left side. So don't let your, yourself think that this is about how far you can pull. It's about finding that right amount of pull with your left hand and that right amount of resistance with your right so that your shoulder is sliding down your back. And as we get the nice physical stretch of this lateral flexion into the right side of your body, I want you to fill that with your breath. So if it look, feels okay, look towards your right elbow and maybe even close down your eyes. We'll take one more big breath here. 
and then slowly come all the way back up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Again, feel some resistance. So your head stays into the center of both your arms as you hinge. So if you can feel your bicep pressing into your head, then you need to find more resistance. Look towards your left elbow, maybe even close down the eyes here. And then notice, are you sinking into your right hip? Press into both your feet, lift up a little bit taller. And as you exhale, find a little bit more of a reach here. One more breath. And then we're gonna inhale, slowly come all the way up. Now, you're gonna interlock your fingers, open the elbows wide, and take the hands to the back of the head. Now, you're gonna inhale, lift up nice and tall. And as your hands press the head and create a little bit of length, draw your shoulders down your back, and then press your head gently into your hands. Start to open and expand into the chest only in a way that feels spacious for that back of the neck and the shoulders. And you keep breathing deeply here. Still continuing to feel your feet. And as you inhale, lift right from the center of the chest as if there's a string from the ceiling lifting you a little bit more. So you create space in the back bend first, and then maybe you go a little bit deeper, but back bends are only good for you if they're, if they're spacious. So take one more deep breath, and then you're gonna inhale, slowly come all the way up. Arms are gonna reach up to the sky. You're gonna exhale, fold forward, and let your arms, they can just dangle down. Now, with your head heavy, what I want you to do is just kind of shake your head, yes? No, loosen that right up. And then allow yourself to just take three more big breaths here. And I want you to really breathe into the back of your body. Two more big breaths. So as you inhale, feel that big expansion, especially right in between your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, feel yourself just relax a little bit more. Now in your inhale, you're gonna roll yourself up. Hands are going to come to the shins. So now from this position, as they slide right up to the knees, you're gonna inhale here. Pull with your hands to add a little bit of element of lifting to that chest, just like we did before. And then as you exhale, you're gonna leverage that and lean back and round your shoulders forward. Inhale, opening and expanding into the chest. Nice, big, beautiful breath in. Exhale, rounding your spine, letting that head get heavy. One more time, inhale, opening and expanding into the chest. Now as you exhale, round yourself back, let that head be heavy, and then I want you to circle this time, allowing your elbows to bend. This is a really nice way to get into some of those little pockets of tension and tightness. Do one more this direction, and then you'll go the other way as you circle back. Open the chest, even look up if that feels okay. And just one more here. And then we'll sit up nice and tall. Now, nice big deep breath in. You're gonna inhale here, left arm is going to reach out. Now, as you reach your left arm out, you're gonna flip that hand down one more time and then bring that hand towards your right hip. Lift up really nice and tall. And then from here, your right hand is gonna grab over to your left knee. You're gonna create some resistance between the two. So you lift up taller. And then as you exhale, you open and look over that left shoulder. Every inhale, feel both your feet anchoring evenly. So you lift up tall. And then as you exhale, just open a little bit deeper into that twist. One more deep breath. And then we'll slowly take our time, come back to the center. Left hand can come to the knee, right arm's gonna reach out. You're gonna just flip that hand down like we did at the very start. Bend that elbow, bring it towards your left hip. Inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale, left hand grabs over to the right knee. Now create resistance between the two, so you lift and create length in that spine first. And then as we exhale, twist. Inhale, growing a little bit taller. And then as you exhale, open just a little bit more. Good, one more deep breath. And then slowly take your time and then come back to center. And that is it. We just stretched out your spine in all the nice ways that we can move to keep a flexible and healthy spine. So make sure that you come back to this often and, and take breaks every, you know, ideally 20 minutes or so, you're adding a little bit of an element of opening the chest, 
creating a little bit of clarity by coming back to your breath and always pay attention to the length of your spine. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to connect with you again soon. Namaste.